So this is a new feature that I built into my home automation system tonight, in fact, um, where instead of looking at individual sensors being triggered, I'm looking at combinations of first this sensor and then that sensor, and looking at the difference in time between them. This is a bit like an n-gram analysis of words within a book. In this case it's a diagram because I'm doing two, but in the future I could be looking at more objects, more sensors, this one, then this one, then another one. So let's give it a go. So we'll start off by saying when somebody walks through the hall beam, there's the hall beam, um, have autocomplete on for all of the objects in the house. Um, somebody walks through the hall beam and then they get onto the upstairs landing and they trigger one of the sensors there. And um, I'll hit go over here. And uh, this one had actually been pre calculated, so it was very fast. And you can see a very significant spike there that uh, people walking from the, through the hall beam, heading upstairs, they typically take less than 20 seconds to get there, somewhere around what, 12 seconds typically, uh, with a long tail out here of people who hang around on the landing. And so this is useful because now I can, if I want to detect people walking upstairs, I can know from this chart that I should be looking for a uh, hall beam being triggered and then within say 25-30 seconds the upstairs landing being triggered and I probably don't need to care about anything beyond that. That gives me a, a compound for you know somebody went upstairs. Um, they can look at the reverse, somebody coming down, they walk across the landing upstairs and then they trip the hall beam coming down, I'll ask it for that and um, what do we see here? We see that it's it's about the same, possibly a slightly faster coming down than they were coming up. Now we'll look at another example. We have a, a barn. So barn, uh, when the barn door closes and somebody comes from the barn and then they drive back to the house and then they trigger the drive sensor, how long does it take somebody to get back from the barn to the house on average? You can see immediately there, there's a spike here around 200 seconds. And we can zoom in a bit and see that actually there's potentially multiple spikes. And this may be different people in the family driving at different speeds to get back to arrive at the house. So there you have it. This is my new n-gram analysis feature and I'm going to be using this to understand the relationships between pairs of objects within the house and to help train the house to understand how people move around within it. This is uh, one step towards uh, the machine learning project I'm working on.